in barca occorre una dote. Saper On a boat, you need a skill. Knowing how to stow, that is, storing many things in a small volume. That's exactly what this Cypria builder Karnik did with this S37X model, a boat of just over 11 meters that has three cabins. We will discover how many different transformations are possible in every area of this yacht, which makes it very functional. This sun deck has adjustable backrests and hidden behind it is a removable awning. Cup holders in the centre and a small sofa in front. The cockpit is the most transformative area. From the classic configuration with a sofa and an extendable table, you move on to the dinette with three sofas. The side ones are retractable. The kitchen unit moves towards the bow so that it can be used from the swimming platform. There's a sink and a grill. The sofa cushion can be elevated to form a sort of raised sundae. To shade the cockpit, part of the roof is extracted with an electric movement. Normally, access to the living area is from the starboard side, but the three windows that make up the stern window can be removed. In this way, the living area overlooks the cockpit. The kitchen, the sink and the burner have a glove compartment behind them. Underneath is a 75-litre fridge with a long chest of drawers. In the navigation bridge, there's space for two 12-inch multifunctional displays. On the side, opposite the wheelhouse, is a compartment for nautical charts. The living room is 185 centimetres long and 110 centimetres wide. By lowering the table, another bed can be formed. Karnik S37X stands out for its living capacity below deck, where they have created three cabins and a bathroom. The owner's room has a two metre long bed, a chest of drawers under the bed, a wardrobe and a vanity corner. Then there are two other cabins with queen-size beds, each two meters long. In all rooms, the height is 180 centimeters, which is a useful space to stand and change. In addition to the wardrobe, the starboard cabin also has a place to sit, while the left cabin has a long row of drawers. The bathroom has a separate shower cubicle. And if that wasn't enough, even large storage volumes. We have two 300 horsepower outboards for the Karnik S37X test. Two Salva engines, model White Whale 300 EFI. All you need to do is reach 3000 RPM to reach 11 knots and have the boat in planing position. Two amenities, automatic ignition and drive-by-wire controls. The 4196cc engine block has a square ratio of 96mm bore and 96mm stroke. 
It is a six-cylinder with V at a 60-degree bank angle, DOHC, 24 valves and variable valves timing. With the flaps lowered a little at 4,300 RPM, we reach a speed of 20 knots with a consumption of both engines of 100 litres per hour, which means 0.2 miles with one litre. This engine block was made with a plasma melting process for incredible strength and lightness, weighing just 260 kilograms in weight for 300 horsepower. We left Genoa and are heading south. The wind is stronger here. The fetch raises a bit of a wave. Following C, I'll remove the flaps. 4,800 RPM. Cruising speed, 27 knots. Consumption remained unchanged at 0.2 miles with one litre. There is a large windshield that allows us a total view even while we veer. Considering that it is a hull that has a large volume to provide space for the cabins at the bow, the behaviour, even when veering on these same waves of ours, is not bad at all. The strong wind raised some splashes. Now it's time to launch it at maximum speed. We pitch a little on the waves because I completely removed the flaps and set the trim, but we reached 38 knots of maximum speed at 5,600 RPM in the maximum power regime of these engines. The Karnik S37X is a boat with extraordinary living capacity, but with a pair of 300 horsepower engines, it's also sporty and fast. Today, as we tested it, the maximum speed was 38 knots, but in ideal conditions, according to shipyard data, the maximum speed is 41 knots. <laughs> 